Fascinating. Captain Barnacles to Shellington. Find anything interesting in the lagoon? I found something amazing, Captain. A whole school of hammerhead shark pups. Well, be careful. If they're babies, their parents might be nearby. Well, actually, hammerhead parents don't take care of their pups at all. They're on their own from the day they're born. The pups stick together and protect each other until they're old enough to... Oh! Yeah, yeah. Hey, this stingray don't taste right. It don't sound right either. And it's kind of hard to chew. This isn't a stingray, it's a gull. Hey! Back here! We ain't done with you yet! Shellington, what's going on? These three hammerhead pups are still learning how to hunt, and the gup confused them. I'm just glad they didn't hurt themselves. <laughs> Back in the water you go. Now, this should be a safe distance to study them from. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! Captain, the hammerheads have all left the lagoon. <gasps> I've got to find out where they're going. They seem to be in a real hurry. It's starting to get dark. And you know what that means. Night time. It's hunting time. Ready? Break! Oh, no. Which way it... Uh, uh, ah. I've got to get out of here before the hammerheads... Oh, get away. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Uh, you won't believe this, but I've crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, and I can't follow the hammerhead pup. I need backup. We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. Again? Yes, he was following three hammerhead shark pups. We have to help him. Captain, it looks like he was heading toward the open ocean. That's a dangerous place for hammerhead pups. In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Shellington, are you all right? I'm fine, Captain, but the hammerhead pups are gone. We need to split up to find them and then follow them. Yeah, follow a little baby hammerhead. This'll be easy. Just don't follow too closely, Quasi. They're still very young and the gups may confuse them. Got it. Shellington, you're with me. Octonauts, let's do this. Still no sign of any hammerheads. Wait. Shellington, I think I see one of them. Great. Now, don't let him out of your sight. That too will be hard. He's just nosing along the seabed like he's looking for something. I can't see you, Stingray, but I can smell you under there. Oh, yeah? Smell this! Ah! Oh, no! The hammerhead just got stung by a stingray. Don't worry, Peso. Hammerheads don't mind a stingray sting or two. <laughs> that won't stop me. No. Nope. How's about them? Go get them, boys. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got to help him. Oh. Hello. Don't be afraid. I'm a medic, and I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa. One down. A lot more to go. Sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got you right where I want you. Oh. Actually, it looks like I've got you. I got me, octopus. I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah! 
<laughs> Take a shot! <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a... <gasps> tiger shark! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I... Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wily one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. You can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there. The third hammerhead. And he's stuck. We're the Octonauts. We're here to help. <laughs> He's really stuck. We'd better call for backup. There, the last one. Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother. Captain, we're on our way. <laughs> Come on! Our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me! <laughs> Peso, Quasi, over here! Oh, oh, ouch! This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. There. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, guys, look behind me. Oh, fascinating. Hammerhead's eyes allow them to see what's behind them, like that... Shark! <gasps> This should give him something to chew on. Oops, oops, oops. Hey, those things don't taste too good, do they? I'm sure you'd taste a lot better. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, bet you can't catch me. Hey, so follow me and bring your friend. Quasi, keep that shark busy. Over here, you scurvy shark! Hey! Oh! Ooh, where'd they go? Here! We've got something tasty for ya! <laughs> ah. Now! <laughs> Everyone, get back! <laughs> What's the big idea? Leave us alone! Hey, what's happening? Uh-oh! <laughs> <Hey. laughs> well, I think he got the point. That was so cool. Well done, everyone. Hey, you, don't forget about me. Whoops, sorry about that. Ready, pull! <laughs> pull! <laughs> we did it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Not like we needed it or nothing. Hey, we've got to get going. See you around. Wait, we still don't know where you're going. Follow us, and we'll show you. What are we waiting for? Let's go! We're in the open ocean now. There's nothing around for hundreds of miles. Where could they be going? Avast, mateys. There's something up ahead. Something big. A sea mount. It's not on any of our maps. Ha! We must be the first to discover it. Actually, I think the Hammerheads beat us to it. Look! So that's where they all went. They must rest here during the day, when they're not hunting. Bye! Thanks again! See you later! Bye-bye! Take care of yourselves! Good luck, mateys! Bye-bye! Hey, look! A stingray! Yummy, yummy! Whoa! <laughs> this isn't a stingray, it's a gop! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's nothing more!
more relaxing than a moonlight drive. Flying fish. So, you want to race, do ye? You're on. Avast, me fizzies! Wow! I've been hit. It's a sneak attack. Ah, show yourself, you scurvy coconut. Ah. Uh, <gasps> blubbering blowfish. It's the mark of my grandfather, Calico Jack. Something's inside. <gasps> Very treasure. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. <coughs> oh. Hmm, I think this calls for my newest invention, the Octoclaw. This little beauty will crush or crack almost anything, including coconuts. Yow! Now let's try it on Calico Jack's coconut. <laughs> Still trying to open this coconut, eh? I don't get it. My Octoclaw should have done the job. I modeled it after the greatest coconut cracker in the animal world, the coconut crab. Maybe that's who we need to help, um, crack this mystery. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Ow! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to find a way to open up Calico Jack's coconut. We'll need the help of the greatest coconut cracker of all. Shellington? Ah, yes, the coconut crab, the largest land crab in the world. It has powerful pincer claws used for cracking open coconuts. Where can we find these crabs? You'll need to look on an island. Coconut crabs live strictly on land. This shows all the islands in the area, Captain. Hmm. Zoom in on that one, Dashy. It's crawling with coconut trees. Exactly. And where there are coconut trees, there are usually... Coconut crabs! Tweak, ready the Gup X. Alan, straight ahead, Cap. Coconut crabs only come out at night. We don't want to scare them off. Tweak, activate stealth mode. You got it, Cap. Hmm, not a crab to be seen. Maybe we need some bait to get them to come out. There. No, over there. <gasps> the coconut, it's gone. Tweak, spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me the Claw on account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? Oh, I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years. So, it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. 
<gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. My babies! Mummy! Coy! Tim! Clarence! Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim! Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. Peso, activate Octo Ski. Tweak, activate Glider. Operation Coconut Drop begins now. Ready, coconut. Crack. And drop. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> gotcha. There's clam. There's a lot of wind. This could get bumpy. Coconut ready. Crack. I don't see Clem. I've got to get a closer look. <laughs> there he is. Damn drop! <laughs> nice catch, matey. And I might add... Ouch! Quasi! Drop in trouble! Up ahead! Thanks, fishies! <laughs> That's Clarence. Thank you, Octonauts. Good work, everyone. Mission complete. Ah, but we still haven't cracked Calico Jack's coconut. You're right. Hmm. If we drop it onto a rock from up here, it just might crack open. Okay, drop. Uh, ah! in the coconut. This is no coconut. It's a hollowed out cannonball from Calico Jack's ship. Whoa! Whoa! So that's why it was so hard to crack. And here's a note from Calico Jack. He says, thanks for rescuing me, mateys. These here three coconuts are for the little tykes to practice their cracking skills. Huh, Trying coconuts! Let's get cracking! Look, there's something on the other side. So there is. Oh, and if you ever run into me grandson Quasi, tell him for me. Yeah! Octonauts, Twig has invited us all here today. 
to show us her latest top secret invention. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Cap. Avast! What are you putting on my ship? Don't get your tail twisted, Quasi. This here is gonna keep the gobs from getting banged up all the time. Huh? They'll never crash again. Never? <laughs> but uh, even the best pilots can make mistakes sometimes. That's right. But when I use my remote control to turn on these boxes, the gups can drive themselves. I call it the Smart Duck Remote Control. Yes. Yes. It's an amazing invention, Tweak. I never thought a gup could drive like that without a good pilot behind the wheel. Ah, uh, no remote control can pilot the gut B as well as I can. With the smart gut remote control, anybody can be a great pilot. Here, Shellington, <gasps> give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no! Look! They're going to hit the octopod! Oh! Oh! Shiver! Whiskers! Don't worry! Yes. <laughs> With the smart gut remote control, the gubs are totally crash proof! They stop by themselves before they crash into anything! Oh. <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! <Yay>! <gasps> 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 Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. Five runaway gups. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the octopod. We need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster and you can say, uh, six to eight weeks. I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak. Are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gub F. The, the Gub F. F? So slow. Oh, the Gub F isn't so bad, Quasi. Keep pedaling. I think we're really starting to pick up some speed. Speed? Just wait until I'm back in the gut beat. I'll show you speed. There they are. Pedal. <laughs> we'll never catch up to them in this thing, Captain. Quasi, let's not get distracted. Huh? We're coming up fast behind you. You'd better move along. Who do these speedy show-offs think they are? We're sailfish. Pacific sailfish, the fastest fish in the ocean. They have to be fast. The herd sardines like that. Watch. Look at 
Look how they work together to get them all in a tight group. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or are they changing colours? They seem to change colours when they get really excited. Check out the old shipwreck. I wonder how fast that baby can go. Yeah, probably about as fast as a sleeping sea snail. Oi, who are you calling a sleeping sea snail? Get back here! Hold on, Quasi. They might be able to help us. Help us? The only other thing I've seen move as fast as they do is the Got B. <laughs> Hello, a sailfish. We were wondering if you could help us find our missing ships. Sorry, fellas, but we're in a hurry. We're following the sardines up the coast. Ah, oh, forget about these slow coaches, Captain. Uh, slow coaches? I just don't think they're fast enough to help us. I suppose you're right, Quasi. They probably couldn't keep up with the guts anyway. Good one, Captain. Now they want to prove how fast they are. Couldn't keep up? You've got to be kidding. We're the fastest things in the whole ocean. We'll find those ships. Grab under those sails, guys. Let's go. Fast enough for you back there. Ha 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 ha! Hi, matey! Ha! I like this guy. There they are, straight ahead. Follow those guns. Better split up and herd them into a tighter group. Excellent job. Now aim for the smart cup boxes. Things are quicker than they look. Yeah! She's getting away! If we don't stop it now, we might never see it again. Not on my watch! Yahoo! A little further, Quasi. We'll stop him up ahead. Stop him? How are you gonna? Captain, look out! Now! Nice driving back there. Thanks. How come the cop didn't crash right into you? Ah, Tweak made them totally crash-proof. It worked like a charm. This little thing's pretty fast. And these guys are pretty good pilots. Maybe we can have a real race someday. Ha <laughs> ha! Any time, mateys. Thanks for your help, Sailfish. So long, guys! I've missed you, old friend. Oh, no. Hmm. The smart gup boxes must have drained the gup's batteries. We'll need to replace them when we get home. So how are we supposed to get home? Hmm. <laughs> Keep pedalling, Quasi. We'll be home in no time. We should have got those sailfish to give us a lift home. <laughs> So, uh, Captain, 
A little Vaginal told me that this new gup that Tweak's building is called the Gup H. That's right, Quasi. Aha! And, and, and what exactly does the Gup H do? Ah, it's a surprise. You'll find out soon. Uh, I, but I, I reckon I can guess it first. Uh, maybe the H is a clue. Uh, the Gup H is made for hopping. No, that's not it. How's it going, Tweak? Right on schedule, Cap. We're almost ready to show everybody what this gub can do. Very good. We'll be in the octopod if you need us. <laughs> Just one more guess. Uh, uh, the gub H is for hiccuping. No, uh, hammering, uh, honking, uh, helping. All of our gubs are for helping, Quasi. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh, Captain, I'm picking up a reading on the wave tracker. Looks like a tidal bore is heading from the ocean into the Amazon River. A tidal bore is a huge wave that moves up the river. The extra water in the river makes it rise really high. Creatures can get hurt or even thrown out of the water onto the shore. Then let's head to the river to help. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the Gup A. <laughs> Dashi, we've reached the river. Where's the tidal bore now? According to the wave tracker, the tidal bore hit the river about an hour ago. But you've just missed it. Thanks, Dashi. We're heading in. Optonauts, keep your eyes peeled for creatures who need our help. Aye, aye, Captain. It's awfully quiet. Hmm, that's strange. No creatures down here. We'd better check the surface. Where is everybody? Did you hear that? It's coming from the shore. Hi, mateys. There's a group of tiny frogs in the trees, and one of them is waving to us. Let's investigate. Ahoy there, little matey. Oh, don't touch, don't touch. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. No, but he could hurt you. Oh, come on. This little guy hurt me. That's right, that's right. I'm a poison dart frog. I don't bite or sting, but my skin is covered in poison. So if you touch me, you're in trouble, big trouble. That's why poison dart frogs have such brightly colored skin. It's like a do not touch sign. But I'm pleased to meet you just the same. Name's Robert, Robert. Pleased to meet you too. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi, Shellington, and Peso. We're looking for anyone who needs help after the tidal bore. We've got a big, big problem. Fish in the trees. Fish in the trees. Jumping jellyfish. The tidal bore must have thrown all the fish high up into the trees. Oh no, that's not good for the fish. They need water to breathe. They do have some water. But not enough to last long. There now, back in the river where you belong. But there are lots more stuck up high, really high in the trees. And that means trouble, big trouble for us poison dart frogs. Is it a disaster? Our eggs are about to hatch, and when they do... <gasps> you need the puddles of water up in the trees for the tadpoles. But why do they need puddles of water in the trees? When they hatch, they're not frogs yet. They're called tadpoles. They look like fish and swim in water. Right, exactly right. Each poodle makes a perfect little home for our tadpoles, so they can swim around and stay safe. But now, all the puddles up in the trees are full of fish. We need to get the fish out of the trees and make room for the tadpoles. And fast. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the tidal bore has swept fish high into the trees. Our mission is to get them out of the trees and back into the water. I'm ready to climb the highest tree, Captain. Trees in the Amazon are very tall, Quasi. It could take a long time to climb from the bottom to the top. Hmm. We need a faster way. Tweak, what do you think? The girl beach is ready, Cap. Then meet us here at the rescue site as fast as you can. Time to launch the Gub beach, Tunip. Yes! Now, we'll get to the others faster and you can see Bunch and Munchie! Ah! 
Meantime, let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish? We'll do, we'll do. When we find the fish, we'll point and signal with a... <coughs> That's how we croak. Herbert, Herbert, will you keep watching the eggs and signal us when they start to hatch? We'll do, we'll do. Thanks, poison dart frogs. Let's hop to it. All right, Octonauts, let's hop to it, too. Uh, oh, uh, steady. Oh, uh. Found a fish, found a fish. Oh, a piranha. All right, into the bucket and no biting. Here's another, here's another. I'll take you back to the river, little fishy. Up here, up here. This way, this way. I see one, I see one. Coming, coming. Me too, me too. Tadpoles, 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 the tadpoles are hatching, the tadpoles are hatching. Congratulations. I'm excited, so excited. Time to start putting the tadpoles in puddles. Is it just me or is it starting to get windy? That's not wind. Yeah! It's a giant flying bug. It's the girl bait. Whoa. I'll base the design on the dragonfly. And the H is for helicopter. You're just in time, Twig. Octonauts, let's do this. Robert, Robert, are all the little ones safe and accounted for? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Every tadpole has its own paddle, except for one. Mine! <laughs> Isn't she cute? I named her Roberta, Roberta. Time to find one last paddle. Tulip, do you read me? Loud and clear, Cap. Robert Robert is up in the treetops and he needs help. I see him, Captain, and the little tadpole on his back. Tweak, take us over to that tree. Quasi, remember, he's a poison dart frog, so don't touch. Uh, 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 uh. Don't worry, little matey, I've got you. <laughs> Sure. Special delivery. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good work, Octonauts. Time to head home. Hey, Quasi, guess what else the H and Go Beach stands for? Whoa. Hold on. Captain Barnacles, according to the radar, estimated time of arrival is one minute. Thanks, Dashie. <laughs> Tweak, your friend Sandy the sea turtle is almost here. Thanks, Cap. I hope she likes the special surprise I'm making for her. You better hurry up. Your friend is moving fast. Yeah, Sandy's a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are fast swimmers, that's for sure. V 
visitor arriving in five, four, three, two, one. I'll open the octo hatch, Tweak. Sandy! Tweak! Octonauts, this is my good friend Sandy. Welcome aboard the Octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there to here. Yes. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Ah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on. I made something for you. This is a friend finder. I'll put this on your back. And look, there you are. The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder, Tweak. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. bye. Farewell. Look, there she goes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. Tweak, zoom in, please. Right away, Cap. It looks like Sandy's caught in the wrong current. And this one is headed straight for that whirlpool. Whirlpool? Yes, a huge, powerful swirl of water that pulls everything downwards. <sighs> Oi! And it can be very dangerous, because it's hard to swim out of. Oh, no. Captain, Sandy needs our help. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Tweak's friend Sandy is stuck in the wrong current and she's headed for that whirlpool. We need to save her. I've got just the thing, Cap. A turbo booster. It'll help the gut bay go fast enough to catch up to Sandy. Good work. Tweak, Quasi, let's go. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll save Sandy. Peso, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Captain. Finder shows that Sandy is far ahead of us. We need to catch up to her. Hold on, Octonauts. Turbo Booster, go! We're coming for you, Sandy, as fast as we can. Don't worry, we'll catch up to her, me hearty. We have to be careful that we don't get too close to the current, or we'll get stuck in it as well, just like Sandy. Closer to Sandy. Uh huh, but we better catch up soon, because she's headed straight for that whirlpool. Crabs! 
Sorry, crabs. Careful! Watch this thing, wait, watch it! Octonauts, lean this way. Well done. For you. Now, where's Sandy? Are we getting closer? There she is, up ahead. Not good! Oh, weak! Don't worry, Sandy! We're gonna save you from that whirlpool! But how? We'll find a way, Tweak. The whirlpool's coming up fast, Captain! There's no way we can rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap! the beach to lay my eggs fast. You can hitch a ride with us. Barnacles to peso. We're going to need you at the beach. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred, one hundred beautiful eggs. Congratulations, Sandy. Oh, thank you, Optonauts. <laughs> I think I'll need to make a hundred new friend finders. <laughs> We're coming up to the trench, Captain. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. That must be it. It looks really deep. Let's find a safe place to set the ship down near the trench. Prepare to land. Shiver, whiskers. The sea floor's all pink and wiggly looking. Dashy, pull up. Now. I'm on it, Captain. We'll have to find another place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. 
Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean, and hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need guffs A, B, C, D and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention, sea pigs. You must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food. Yum, yum, yummy food. No. It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food, you say? Yummy, smelly food. Of course, that's it. Captain, I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Ugh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast. Tulip, that smells awful. Great work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <gasps> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. <laughs> Flappity flippers. They're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Super, Chubble. Uh-oh. Uh hey, sir, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Peso. Let's hope that guff of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Peso, 
Let's go. Quasi, Tulip has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Got aye, aye, Captain. Sign of Tunip and the glider. No, Captain. They they disappeared. Request backup. We need more than backup, Quasi. We need a plan. Hmm. And I think I might just have one. It's no good. Tunip could be anywhere. That's why we're going to sniff him out. All right, little sea piggy. Food. Find food. Oh, food. Mmm, smell food. Over there. <laughs> Captain, what? There was still some of the sea kelp cake left on top of the glider. Our friend there is sniffing it out. Look there. It looks like. Hello. <laughs> Tunip. Super, super. <laughs> you did it! Hooray! Well done, guys! Thanks for your help. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Ooh, food! More food! <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do like that smelly stuff. Which is more than can be said for poor Tunip. something very exciting planned for us today. That's right. It's time for the first ever inspection of the Gup X. Inspection? What kind of inspection? We're going to make sure that every part of the Gup X is working the way it should. I've got a whole checklist of things to test out. Uh, uh, that doesn't sound very exciting. It is when you do it in the midnight zone, Quasi. The midnight zone? Now you're talking! The Midnight Zone is the deepest part of the ocean and can be very dangerous. If the Gup-X works down there, it'll work anywhere. Exactly. Now, why don't we get the show on the road? 
Octonauts, let's do this. Okay, first things first. Let's test out the suction tires. Everyone hold on. Isn't there a, a safer way to check the suction tires? Nope. Suction tires, check. We're now entering the midnight zone. Automatic headlights, check. Let's test the backup lights. Flip that switch, will you, Cap? Uh-huh. And back on again. Whoa! Uh. Oh. <laughs> wow! Shiver me oh, whiskers! Hydrothermal vents. Captain, it looks like you had a rough landing. Everything okay down there? We're fine, Dashy, but take a look at this. Gup cameras, check. Jumping jellyfish. The black smoke coming out of those hydrothermal vents is actually really hot water. Hot enough to melt the gup. Be careful, Captain. Thanks, Shellington. <sighs> that was a close one, Tweak. How's the Gup X doing? Uh, engines are still running. Computer is online. Super tough outer shell is handling the heat just fine. Good. Let's continue the inspection away from these hydrothermal vents. Okay, Cap, activate the glider. Glider, check. Imagination. Come on, Quasi. We'd better get back inside. Come on, Tweak. What was out there? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but I could have sworn I saw something white and furry climbing around on the gut. White? Furry? Oh, mateys. There's only one thing it could be. A sea yeti. Half fish, half shaggy white beast. The sea yeti lurks in the darkest depths of the midnight zone. But you'll always smell it before you see it. A sea yeti's foul breath smells like rotten eggs and is strong enough to knock out the mightiest pirate. Now that you mention it, it does smell sort of funny in here. Hmm. Note to self, replace the air freshener. Well, see Yeti or no see Yeti, we'd better finish the inspection. There's just one more thing on my checklist, Cap. The hot cocoa machine. <laughs> well? Oh, check. That does it. The Gupex is in total and complete 100% working order. Huh? Hmm. Sounds like we have a stowaway. Ooh, smells like it, too. <gasps> Yow! The Sea Yeti's got me! Oh! oh! I am not a Sea Yeti. I am a Yeti Crab. And my name is Klaus. <laughs> a Yeti Crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> Yeah, that is a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh, aren't they very hot and dangerous? Not for a Yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but mm, there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock. It's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we Yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. Tweak, the brakes are out. 
I can't stop the ship. Oh, no. Our little friend here must have done some damage when he was looking for food in the vent. Uh, uh, I might have snipped a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. There's no room to turn the gub around. Cap, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. The panel should be right over here. Let's take it nice and easy. Cap, we've reached the control panel. Good. Now hurry. Something, won't we? Klaus, there's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> I'm not even no shortcut. <laughs> Yo Klaus! Oh, I have come to help save my home, yeah? Oh, and your ship. Oh. <laughs> All right. All you have to do is reconnect the red wires. Oh, with my long arms and crabby claws, that should be easy. <laughs> oh, oh, careful! The red wire, not the blue one. Oops, I'm sorry. I cannot see, you remember? <laughs> uh, right. Captain, look! Tweak, you've got to hurry up! Okay, left a bit. No, right a bit. Captain, we're going to crash in five. No, don't cut the wire. Four. Whoops. Three. Come on, mateys. Two. Whoa. Cap, the brakes are back. Oh. Well done, Captain. Oh, me oh my. Yeah, we did it. like home and just in time for dinner <laughs> so tasty yeah thank you for all the ride and thank you for all your help Klaus goodbye and goodbye Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> good work today octonauts the Yeti crab is back home the hydrothermal vents are safe. And the Gubex is in ship shape. There's just one thing left. Ah, oh, what's that, matey? Is there anything we can do about this smell? Hey, so? Uh. Quasi? <laughs> Again. I tweak. She looks better than ever. And take a look. I added this special turbo button. It'll give you an extra burst of power if you're in an emergency. Aye, or a race. I can't wait to take her out for a little test drive. Open the octo hatch, me hearty. Uh, okay. Quasi, use that turbo button only in an emergency! I'd better make sure this thing works. You've got to see this. 
on the storm tracker. Hmm. Activating Octoscope. Hmm. It's a big storm, and it's heading straight for us. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, we have to get the octopod ready before this storm gets here. If a storm is big above water, it'll be just as big below water, too. Dashi, let us know when the storm gets closer. Aye, aye, sir. Peso, close all the outer portals. Aye, aye, Captain. Tweak, pull in the octopod arms. Aye, aye, sir. And Quasi, start turning off the engines so we can... Quasi? Hmm. Where is Quasi, anyway? Uh, he's test driving the gut B. Outside! Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, i better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a big... Grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya. Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip. That's nice, dear. Marty, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye. Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea urchin in trouble! Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Eight minutes. Almost done here. All done. I'm heading home. Farewell. Only seven minutes.
Quasi, can you hear me? Get back to the octopod now. Can you hear me? Captain, I... Only five minutes till the storm gets here. Ah. Twig, get the Gup C ready. I'm going after him. Be ready to close the octa hatch the second we're back inside. I'm almost with you, Quasi. it. The tow line. It might just work. Captain, only one minute left. Thanks, Dashy. The water's starting to come in the octa hatch. We have to close it. No, Twig. Wait. Keep the octa hatch open. Coming in. Stand by to close the octa hatch. We'll be home in ten. Nine. Eight. Hold on tight, seven, little lobster. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, yes. Yes. You gave us a real scare. If it weren't for this little lobster's big grip. Yow! We wouldn't have made it back. Oh, it was nothing. Hey, this is a great place to stay safe in a storm. Hmm. That was some test drive, Quasi. Looks like I have a lot of work to do. But first, would anybody like some hot chocolate? Aye, aye. Me too. Extra marshmallows for me. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. 